Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Welcome back to Pocket Mirror. Previously on Pocket Mirror, we entered a new world. Where once again, everyone seems to want to kill us. It still kind of disturbs me how dark this place is. Where am I going? Well, that's too dark. Is this a door? No. Is this a door? No. <laughs> Can I go south? Okay, there's some light here. That's good. There's an open journal on the desk. I had never intended to break this family apart. This incident is nothing more than an unfortunate twist of fate. Or so I want to believe. Perhaps an unfortunate series of events. However, I have become unable to tolerate such outbursts of utter madness. To believe that this family has become nothing more than a vile being's plaything is completely outrageous and unacceptable. I shall take responsibility for your actions as my final loving gesture, so that you may rest in peace. To you, my dear, I owe all the affection I could never give you, were you to live any longer. The rest of the pages are stuck together. Let's see, I hereby leave you this letter in regards to your daughter's behavior during my tutoring classes. I believe it has come to your attention that she is not in the most healthy of states. If not, then I would suggest you consult a doctor. Recently, she's been demonstrating a bizarre tendency for violence, which is reflected in her nervous outbursts during my classes. Things such as ripping pages off of books, suddenly scribbling over her own notes, and throwing tantrums when asked to read what have become the norm. However, as disturbing as these behaviors might seem, her true violent tendencies are aggravated to the point of ripping her own hair off during lectures and attempting to hurt herself with the quill. I myself have occasionally become a target of these hysterical behaviors, and that, sir, I refuse to tolerate any further. I'm sending you this letter of resignation with the best regard. Well, I can skip on its own. It's a pretty long letter. She's like, nah, I don't want to read it anymore. <laughs> Too long. Oh boy! Let's see, there's a pit right there. The more madness. A lot of madness themes. Probably has to do with that mirror doppelganger thing. Maybe that's the true Harpe. And the other one's a doppelganger. Discipline and understanding children's psychology. Essentially the same thing. Oh, what was that? What's this? An old wax record. Is that real? That scared me, just because it sounded like... It was unusually high quality recording-wise for an RPG Maker game. It's like, <gasps> someone's in my room. No. I'm usually not startled by random sounds, but... I legitimately thought that was real. No phonograph. Do these plays all... Is this what this is for? I am recording this. Cut off. Leave you my... My children. My testimony of what I have brought upon... Of our lives. A being whose... Hold of my beloved daughter's name. If your mother could do for you. Hope is... Your pocket mirror, my girl. All that I can say... Deepest regrets are now burning to you. I know this voice. Father? Weird. He's all wet in braille. Power letters on the floor, they all seem to be medical letters. After analyzing the patient's mental health these past few days, I can now securely state my diagnosis. It's come to my attention that the patient, at least, do you think I don't, I'm not good at pronouncing things? Okay. It's been having nightly visions, imbalance of bodily humors, and melancholia. Such behavior is not harmful to other members of the subject's family, however, it's quickly wearing down the subject's health. The patient should spend their days at ease with moderate consumption of thin white wine. The practice of general exercise, warm baths, plenty of sleep, moderate carnal copulation, exposure to soothing music. 
I shall pay the patient a visit a month from now to verify the progression of the symptoms. Hmm. So this is still a library here. School of Manners and Rules for Children's Behavior. Written in Braille. Anything down here? Nope. Musical score tattered here. Joseph Hayden. On a twin. Well, I wonder if you want me to read that. What is this? It looks kind of like me. The cardigan I'm wearing looks kind of like the one on the right. Why am I in that photograph? Shit. Founder! Founder! Killer! What's going on? I don't know, but it hurts my ears. I should leave for the moment. Maybe. No, it seems fine. Does this seem like unusually darker than before? It wasn't this dark, right? No, it was. Can't go to the dark hallway still. I go this hallway. It's, it's really too dark here. There's noises. There's someone there. Yes? Please, I need your help. I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need to get the key to this room for me. Alright. Where is it? Solve this riddle and you find it. Listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows, lost in dismay. Golden radiance lies unscathed, awaiting the line of day. At dawn shall the beasts awake. Guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by cheerful cho chirping, hope always follows. In search of guidance, turn to the heartful gallows. Announced by the bells is your demise. Should you not pray for eastern sunrise. The doors opens as he draws near. Silence is your ally, clouded with fear. Wait, I don't understand. You have to hurry, now go! I heard a dog bark. That's like this. I heard that car noise so many times from when I played L Lisa. That is just burning my mind. Oh, I just died. Oh. 
Something's out here with me. Okay. There's something under the rug. Is this it? There's a lot of rusty keys, aren't they? Where's that save point I was at earlier? Here it is. I got your key. Great, now open the door. Is that bad or good? Or is it just weird? Some light. Who are you? Well, I got an item, actually. Turning red, it's turning red. There's a picture there, too. That's not good. What is this? <laughs> you laugh and you think I'm going back in there. I'm dumb. I think this is my first rodeo in a painting world. I mean, a mirror world. Same thing. He's going pretty fast automatically, so I'm not gonna bother reading him. <laughs> this voice. I'm not good. Why is this something lit up? Oh, pumpkin charm! Too dark. Are you sure this will be all right? Of course, my love, you're safe here. There's no need for you to worry. What about your family? That's a different matter. It's nothing to do with us, my dear. What about your daughter? What about her? Won't she suffer from this? I'll be sure to take care of that issue soon by killing her. Now hush, my dear. Let's not worry about the future. It's an unpleasant conversation. Underlying desire. The painting of a boy and typically keep a horned demon. A young elegant woman poses peacefully with a serene expression on her face. There are people in there. <laughs> Items? The torn channeling wrist shower on the floor. Its candles are thrown about. Give me the candle. I can use it. How dare you disobey me? What have I told you about leaving the room during the night? I'm sorry, father. Ouch. This is the last time you'll ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes, father. It means you just want to stay in your room at night because you're having an affair. Poor girl. Pumpkin? It's broken wine ball. Oh boy! Where have you been? Harpe, I've... I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. I just... I heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise. Yes. You didn't hear it. Also, you're evil. 
No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you all right, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm all right. That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself. Do you understand? I... No buts, miss. This mansion can be very dangerous as it is very old. You could get hurt if you wandered around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpe. <laughs> it's all right, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpe. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. Are you implying that she's blind? Because, <laughs> you know, there's Braille in the library. There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Come now, let's get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. <laughs> yes, let's. Give me your hand, just so you don't get lost. All right. We dying. Harpe, I can't... Harpe? Yes? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way. There's nothing to worry about. I guess she's blind. She doesn't really care if there's light or not. I see. All right. We're here, miss. Are you feeling all right, miss? My head hurts, because you poisoned me. You must be tired. <laughs> uh, yes. It'll pass. Don't worry, Harpe. Please tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpe. Come, let's sit. <laughs> It's best if we talk with sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I... Whatever. I... I went to the floor above the one we're in. The noise seemed to come from above, so... You shouldn't have gone there, miss. I... No, it's alright. I'm not upset. I was just worried about you. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Oh, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I, I see. You like to take me into rooms? Act inviting, and then I'm assumingly you're gonna uh, get rid of me. Well, they don't so much kill you and get rid of you, it's more like they keep you there for all eternity. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit... bewildered. I... I just like to ask you something, Harpe. Please, go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I... I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but... I've heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss. But there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are... are you sure? Yes. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I see. You must be right. <laughs> you must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guest rooms. Oh no. Would you be sloth if everyone's attached to a sin? Because the way you kind of got rid of me that one time was I waited. What's the matter? There's a button missing on your cardigan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I must have had it. I must have sold it properly. No, I'm sorry. I was the one who lost it. Being nearly killed in your mansion and all. I'm gonna get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Sure, I'll come with you, evil person. Yes, why not? Let us go then. I like doing. Not smart things. Where am I going? Why not just take a nap right now? 
Oh, no, no, my beauty surpassed me perfect and my leaves will fall off. You really have no common sense now, do you? I'll start the countdown. A one and a two and a d d d Is she? Yes, follow me. I have candy up there. And sweets and tea that are totally not drugged. You can trust me. The moon. Meaning let us stray. Or an illusion. It's in full view, too. Kind of fitting, I guess. Hello? This is totally not evil looking. Harpe? <laughs> I apologize, my girl. It seems I have gotten a bit ahead of you. <laughs> oh no, that's alright. I was just wondering where you'd gone to. <laughs> I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Harpe, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Do you remember this dresser? No. No? I see. Here, take a seat. More mirrors. Harpe? Yes. Is this dress for something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I ask you out of curiosity. Nothing else. But... But if you ask me that, then... Miss. <laughs> yes? It is fine if you don't want me to, but... May I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's... It is something I have been wanting to do for a long time now. Yes, totally not creepy. <laughs> We're just two, two girls brushing each other's hair. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. Well then, could you please pass me the hairbrush? Ah, uh, yes. That's your golden regalia. This comb is so fancy. Harpe, is, is it really yours? <laughs> yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present for my family. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. Harpe? Yes. What is it, my girl? Can you please tell me a bit more about yourself? I mean, myself, rather. I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it will satisfy you. Anything will do. You're gonna be here forever. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Please don't apologize. I understand you need to know, my girl. But could you please hand me the comb first? Ah, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Harpe. Don't worry, miss. Now please, sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Oh, yes. Just like that. We don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Harpe, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank me, my girl. I was the one who asked you if I could find... could in the first place anyway. There's more mirrors. You are a very sweet individual, miss. Although you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You've come this far thanks to your own effort. So it is time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as much such, but you're truly a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you may have surpassed in your journey. As well as your goals, your fears and even your own strength. 
Harpe, it is time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. As I pull your hair. No more hesitating. No more doubts. Another set of mirrors. You must carry out your duty. Regardless of the means. Regardless of the consequences. Harpe. I told you they're evil. Just burn everyone in these worlds. Just burn them all. Enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in your path. And even I... <laughs> Even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Harpe, but you are different. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than your fears. <laughs> you are more than your duties. Why is everyone in Yandere? It is time to let go, my girl. You must give her. And you must lose control and never mind your fears. I will be with you. And I will protect you. This sucks. Harpe, what's going on? My mind. <laughs> you are safe with me. <laughs> I might be able to vaguely... No, not really. Bad end. Don't trust anyone around your hair. Blindness. Blinded but to the truth. No, I won't come with you. I'm still a bit tired. Can I stay here and rest a little longer? Away from you? <laughs> That's alright. I don't mind. I'll totally get you later. I won't take too long. So please be sure to take a good rest. <laughs> yes, thank you, Harpe. Please go. Or even just go right now. Ah. There was a mirror hidden away in the other place, too. It's me. Wait, no. My doppelganger. My actual doppelganger. Cut finger like in the cutscene. You finally have come to me. Who... Who are you? Player 2. I've been waiting for you, Angel. What? What do you mean? I wasn't expecting you to forget about me this quickly. Is my name Angel? Yes, it is. But then, who are you? I am you, Angel. It is a shame you can't remember me. You see, we have a special connection. Like petals from the same flower, or so I would say. You are me, Angel. And I am you. How? It was my role to find you, and now that I did, it's your role to complete me. We don't have much time, but please listen to me. What are you talking about? You're evil just like everyone else. It's time for us to be reunited, Angel. They've always tried to tear us apart, but now I have finally found you. Wait. Miss, where are you? You have to come to me. I'm waiting for you on the other side of the mirror. Wait. You are not alone, Angel. I will always stay with you from now on. Every time you need me, just knock three times in the mirror and I'll come to you. Wait, Angel. Please, you have to trust me. I don't trust anybody. I'm my own mirror wanderer. And please promise me you'll be careful. He's still out there looking for you. Who's he? Wait, who are you talking about? I'll be waiting for you. Angel. I saw myself in the mirror. I can't tell if she's evil or not. Comparatively to you. <laughs> Where have you been? 
Harpe. I'm sorry, I just... I got into this room and... I get it, there's a twins on the picture. Have I told you not to wander by yourself? You could have gotten hurt. I... Harpe. There's no helping it, is there? I'm sorry I yelled at you, miss. Harpe? Is everything alright? Was there always big a big painting in this room? A painting? No, there isn't. What's the matter, miss? You don't seem all too well. I... Yes, what is it? Harpe? Is my name Angel? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I just... You just what? What did you do? Who told you that? Harpe, I just... I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. Listen, my girl. Lies won't take you anywhere in this place. Enough is enough, and it's time you face the consequences of your own acts. Playing house will not make everything better. Hiding will make you invisible, miss. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away. I apologize. Harpe, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. fada has gone. Now I met this strange girl and I... Who did you meet? Me. She said my name was Angel. And that she was me. I wonder if you're supposed to pronounce it like Angel. Your name is not Angel, miss. And it just disappears off my title screen. It's not? No, it is not. But she... That is enough. You mustn't meet this girl ever again. You mustn't trust her. No matter what she says. But why? Listen, miss. I need you to listen carefully. As I told you before, I can't tell you your name. And I can't tell you who you are and what you should do from now on. However, I can protect you from whoever is trying to hurt you. Was Fleda trying to hurt me? Indirectly. I don't know, miss. All I know is you mustn't trust anyone but yourself. Do you understand? No. I don't understand the situation at all. I see. Shall I leave you on your own then? Huh? I am asking if you're going to walk away from the situation you don't understand. Why are you here, miss? What have you come here to do? I... I don't know. I don't know. What does that tell us then? Then you want to know who you are, what your name is, and what you're supposed to do. Or are you just going to give all that up? Harpe, I refuse to protect someone who has no will to thrive, miss. There is no, that is no longer my rule. I... I'm sorry, Harpe. I don't need your apologies. No! I mean it. I... I understand what you're saying, Harpe. I do want to know who I am, and what I'm doing here. Please forgive me. I ended up pressuring you when it wasn't my intention. No, you're right, Harpe. <laughs> I can't simply give up. I'm glad you understand, miss. I need you to trust me. Don't trust her. And I need you to stay true to yourself. Good. That is the only way you will ever find the answers to your questions. That is what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry I... went overboard. No, it's alright. I don't think you're trying to hurt me, Harpe. Oh? Thank you, miss. Thank you for trusting me. Harpe? <laughs> oh, no. It's nothing. I'm just feeling a bit overjoyed, that's all. But anyway, I got the button we needed to fix for your coat. <laughs> Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, my girl. <laughs> it's done. Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. Well then, shall we go? Go where? 
I need to take you to a safe place. We can't stay here forever now, can we? <laughs> oh, I see. Let us hurry. So, knowing you, I should not follow you at all. Let's see what's in here. Wow, you have 58 charms. Good for you. Thanks. I think it's a report of some sort. Uh, it didn't even give me anything. Hey there, Logo. Would you be interested in a quiz? Get everything right, I might give you a reward. Alright, why not? Choose a subject. When was Julius Caesar assassinated? Oh boy! Wax record. There's a picture here too. Now they're crossed out. Long haul. That's weird, man. My days of being a comedian are long gone. I have now dedicated myself to the art of meditation. Very meditative thought. Is there a pumpkin over here? Hello there, miss. I like to know C. Get it? Now, now, pumpkin, you should know better and act like a proper adult. Just kidding. Various utensils. Here's this place of layers of fear. Who? Pink hair. Maid Chan. Weird man. I need two more of these to put together in my head. That's dark. Mr. Pumpkin? Hello? Maybe it's just a lamp. It's not a real pumpkin, it's a big fart phony. It's locked. So dark. I never like these hunting trophies. <laughs> Crap. Just a deer. No oh, dearie me. Man, it kicks me back out. Storm won't budge. Mr. won't do me anything either. <laughs> a pumpkin! Whoa, you scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a bit too excited. Mind your manners, miss. That's not the kind of behavior we're expecting of a young lady like you. I heard a laugh. No, it's crying. Oh, 
That's the prom dress I got left behind. Are you alright? Oh, miss, you wouldn't believe what has happened to me. What happened? I lost my precious rosary. I absolutely cannot live without it. I've looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. It's alright, miss, I'll help you. So please don't cry, alright? Oh, thank you, miss, thank you. You're welcome. I'm getting really tired of it being so dark here. Now what? Real dark. Starting rain. Hey, swans. Hey. Uh, I, I shouldn't go in the woods. Not yet. Let's get the area out first. Hmm. Dead end. Sleeping over here. Here we go. Here's something. Three doors. Where am I? Locked. Crystalline wire pools undisturbed in the ceramic bathtub. Great. Angel? She's not here? Angel! Shit! I need to get out of here. Do I really? Here it is. Fabulous. It's the black goo from Prometheus. What happened? What what the f What are you even? Yeah, you just keep scratching against that door. Guys, there's someone here. Look, it's the stack of skulls from Castlevania. Hello there, young lady. Aren't you early to the party? What party? You don't know about the party? Hey, guys, she doesn't know about the party. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't know about the party. How come you don't know about the party? What are you doing here, then, little girl? Oh, I'm just... She you go to the party now that you're here? Uh, I... You never know, miss. You might just find your prince charming. Or a bad end. Weird. 